Alright, so I got my bird paper and this eggplant. That was that was that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. It looked like it looked like both players are having oh yeah, a uh, good amount of fun there. That was a great game too. Uh, so who do we have up? We have uh, so now we have Taro, Taro versus and, uh, Doc Q. Doc uh, Doc Q. Yeah, Doc yep, Q. Yep. yep. Taro and Doc Q for the next game. Uh, Taro, I, I, again, I have experience with. He's played. Honestly, I really like his Falco. Uh, yeah, he, he has he, a he has an insanely good Falco. And the thing about it is, Falco was heavily nerfed in Brawl. Um, heavily nerfed from Brawl. Right? Heavily nerfed right. from bra Brawl. Now he's uh, everybody he's, in Smash Four is pretty much balanced. There's a couple characters that are kind of eh because of the nerfs that they had got, uh, gotten either like Diddy Kong or Bowser. Yeah, uh, but they're still viable. Um, right. uh, lately, actually, um, Zelda needs the buffs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda, Zelda is one of them that got handicapped because she got two. Zelda's on like the should be on top ten for needs buffs. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, I, I, for I sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but uh. Uh really tonight. If you're Mario. So, uh, so per per personally, I think Taro's Falco is definitely improving. Um, oh yeah. Uh, I helped him out a little bit earlier today with some Falco setups, but nice. I definitely say he's 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 a he's a really he's a really good Falco player. I think he just needs a, a bit more practice. Oh yeah, and then we'll we'll probably see like some really good stuff out of him maybe next month or so. But I, then I, I I love I love watching uh, I love watching his Falco. I, right, uh, but that definitely doesn't mean we sleep on Doc Q. Oh yeah, he for has, sure. He definitely has a pretty good Ganondorf. Oh. <laughs> And he throws over the smash. Oh, the power beam. There's a there's a uh, surprise uh, down air there. So it kind of seems like they're just throwing out attacks here. So it's kind of oh, funny yeah. because with this, you have the it's sort of a juxtaposition oh. between our previous match where it was Ganon, or wait, which was uh, King DDD versus Captain Falcon. Right. Now it's the Falcon like hybrid, like old slow like Ganondorf <laughs> versus the rather quick Falco. Right. Um, so we still kind of have that same sort of matchup except with Ganondorf, mm -hmm. you have a whole lot of power in his kit in his arsenal. Um, not to say the Falco doesn't have power. Uh, Falco, right. you more so worry about the speed, the air, the air game. Oh, oh, the Oh my what gosh, a, was that what a nice down was air? A was that a down air? Uh, no, I think that was just. I I, I, def I definitely know it wasn't a down air, but he got the stage spike. Oh man, that was a huge mistake. Oh yeah. Uh, so, so Taro's definitely probably like suffering real hard from this deficit. A little bit, but he can still come back. Doc, tries to get the hard read, but he fails. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, there's the back, nice. the fadeaway kick. Oh, that was a nice job. That was a nice job. Uh, it looks like he. Uh, <coughs> I, uh, stasis I felt, I felt like there that should uh, that, there that should have been a, a back throw maybe. Oh yeah, I think so too because then he could have set oh. it up for. A, oh, there we go. Well, so, there's, uh, a, there's the a over smash. A miss face uh, on Doc Q's part. He gets punished real hard with the forward smash. Uh, he tries to go for the the neutral B for some reason, but that's not gonna work. Yeah, no, not gonna work whatsoever. And there's an up A. Okay, uh, so, some good way from Taro because he felt probably felt uh felt he couldn't beat the uh, up up till in time. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh. And there's the game. And and just, Doc just Q. barely the oh, up yeah. smash from Doc Q. Then and just the as game. quick as the game started, it ended. Ended right. Doc Q takes the first game against Taro. Again, There's it a was a very unorthodox kind of uh, kind of style, but honestly, I think that it works out. Um, that now that he knows that how how the Ganondorf is going to be played, I think mm -hmm. that Taro could come back into and, it and adjust that, accordingly. Absolutely, and mm -hmm. I think that with Ganon, I think that with Doc Q, I think that he has the possibility to come back. Um, he's got the first fall, so he obviously has that breathing room. But yep. you want to consistently, you don't want to let up against anything like that. Right. Um, I think that with his play style, he has the possibility to just wait. Like he can just wait and see what's going to happen because he's like how he got those two falls was pretty much just patiently waiting on what Taro was going to do next. Right. Uh, so Taro goes for the for the forward air here. It doesn't quite hit its, hit its mark, but yeah, they get up attacked. It. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. The, the, Taro's playing this a little safer, a little more, a little less aggressive than he was in the previous game. Right. Uh, oh. Oh, and there's they, an over A. They, they there's that over smash. smash. 
forward smash. I'd say over, forward. Over smash, whatever. side smash. No, yeah, same thing. Yep. Uh, so Doc, you try to go for the read there on the get up. I think, think there should be. Work. I think there should be more grabs. Uh, out grabs of out of Doc Q or out of Falco. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, Falco's grab game is amazing. I uh, think that Falco he has uh, down throw. He has up throw. Oh yeah, both combo. I think that if he can continue to use the up throw, I think that it can work out in his favor. The oh. worst that can happen is he's going to get a down tilt, and it looks like he's he, he's listening. He's oh. listening to me. <laughs> oh, uh, we should probably speak a little softer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, oh. sorry. <laughs> So anyway, oh, um, oh no! Uh, Falco oh, will there definitely it is. come back. He Falco, has Falco and Falco really and Fox have jumps. amazing recovery. So, especially from a far distance like that. So, so they're trying to they're trying to space out these smash attacks here. It seems. Ganondorf uh, especially. Taro 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 really needs this uh, KO right now. Oh yeah. Because pretty much the high percent Ganondorf gets that just feeds his rage. So, for sure, for sure. Uh, the rage mechanic. Just, just, I, uh, the rage mechanic. Uh, I was gonna say, were you just about to explain there? Uh, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain rage. Uh, so rage starts at fifty percent. Oh! Ooh, he was so trying for an. A he was trying for a uh, <laughs> smash like off of the stage, and it just looks like it didn't, it didn't work, work out for him. Yep. Sorry, so go ahead. So how rage works is starts at fifty percent, and it basically what rage does it increases the knockback on all your moves, and ma you hit max rage at one hundred and fifty. Yeah. So. But um, I thought that's what you were going for. That's why I was just <laughs> letting you talk. I didn't know if that's what you were going to say or not, so I just wanted to reiterate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much when once Gandalf hits 50, he he's pretty much at like the Ooh, premier percent to like just start wrecking stuff. Oh yeah. So it, it it seems like oh my god. Oh. So it seems like Taro's bringing this back. Oh and and that's the game. Oh wow. Okay. Great game by Taro. Great comeback game by Taro. Doc Q played a nice game. wasn't wasn't too bad. Uh, he he still obviously he got him to 109 percent. It was a very close game yep. at the end. Uh, yep. I, th I think Taro was feeling himself. He was starting to Taro. he was starting to he was starting to adapt a, a bit more. So oh yeah, oh yeah. So we'll see how game three goes though. I think that game three is going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. And looks like they aren't switching. They're just keeping Ganondorf Falco. All right, all right. We'll see where they go though for this counter pick. <laughs> Garden of Hope. Okay. Yeah, gar Garden of Hope. All right. Uh, that's okay. Good, that's good music. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I've yet to play uh, Pikmin on the GameCube. Pikmin three. I uh, know. On the Wii U. Uh, Pikmin. Uh, Pikmin, go Pikmin oh, 5. the original Pikmin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, that was an ambitious title. I'm gonna say the GameCube was like one of the best systems, and nobody like like I, one of my friends calls it paperweight. <laughs> Like processor wise, it was, I think it was the best out of the three during its Yeah, generation. it was it was it, it was the first one to have like widescreen and stuff like that. It's crazy. We I remember I was watching uh, I was watching a series and they were talking about it with Super, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Mm -hmm. It was like one of the first series or it was one of the first games to do that. Very rarely is Nintendo one of the first in that. And here we go, we got a couple go, lasers so. shot at him for so, early damage. So last match of the set, uh in Dreamland. I, I don't know if this really benefits I think this may benefit uh Falco a bit more because then he could get uh, maybe an early up throw kill. Very odd. From the top platform, Very odd but choice. But right. I mean, hey, if, if uh, I know a lot of people have comfort picks, so if that's the comfort pick for you, then by all means. Right. But th but then this was a. Uh, this was Doc Q's pick, so. Yeah, no, that's 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 what I mean. Is in that like maybe Doc Q enjoy has like this comfort zone when it comes to Kirby Streamland. So who knows? We well, had oh! the, he had the read there, but uh, it seemed the get up attack beat it. <coughs> It always makes me. I always, I always start to remember, uh, like I was just, I was just commentating Smash uh, Melee. Right. It makes me remember that s with Smash Four, the ledge grabs, you can easily just hop right onto the ledge. So like I'm expecting a death, and it's like, oh no, never mind. But yeah, this is actually a really highly contested game right now. So no, nobody. I, 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 w I don't have anybody going one way or the other for. Uh, for, oh, oh, and uh, as soon as I say it, smash. as soon as I say it, the forward smash gets him. But in the saying that, uh, Doc Q could just do, <coughs> do like one smash attack, and he'll pretty much reset this whole game. Oh yeah. So. See, I, I like how they, I like how they added. This, just a side note for like game quality sake, I like how they changed Smash and. Uh, oh, there's a oh. down B from Doc Q, uh, and 26% extra credit. It's not really gonna do. It, it probably may not do much. Oh, never mind. Uh, 26 turns into 46 in like two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. 
Nice dash attack. Uh, misses a follow-up. Taro's doing a great job here. He, he, he's definitely improved. It, I like this kind of game because it shows you improvement over the, <coughs> over the set. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, nice waiting there by Taro. He, he felt like the down, the down air was coming, and it definitely did. So he just up it, and he didn't really go for anything else after that. Oh, man. Uh, here's, a side B, here's a side B from Doc Q. That up air was scary oh. right there. It looked like it was uh, gone. There goes the donkey kick. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so I call it. Uh, <laughs> they get in support to the donkey kick. He just like dust forward. Like, ah! <laughs> oh, oh very nice dodge. In the, oh, very nice shield by Taro. Oh, and there it is. The side B is like, or is the, the side air. Uh, <laughs> we very patient. Uh, very good patience by uh, Taro with the forward smash there. Just waiting. Oh, yeah. for the down B. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. The and side the air. This was back air from back Taro. Air, and, that and that's the game. That will finish the set. Very, very nice game by both competitors. That was a very classy game, too. Nice show, man. No show of sportsmanship. Uh, what was that? Gabe. Uh, Gabe. Gabe, what do we got? I, I felt like it was almost uncertain, but Taro, Taro definitely... Taro, Taro, Taro basically grew throughout the set. He, it was he definitely adapted well, and he, he took that back. Well, in the Ganondorf, in the Ganondorf matchup, it was different because with the Ganondorf matchup in the first part of it, he was very aggressive, but he wasn't showing... He wasn't doing anything differently. He just kept running at him. It was just a very consistent pressure. Uh, I think that he might have might have underestimated it or might have just not... To, not uh, given the respect exactly. to the Ganondorf. Right, right. Um, but then gradually you saw him throwing more grabs out there, uh, being more patient. Because the thing about it is Ganondorf's slow. So the, the point is that like, Ganondorf does, has a lot of power.